Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle. Check, check, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? No, 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 Madeo. Well, go on. I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now. Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. And when I mean all, I mean all. I mean our Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, you name it, we're on it. Just Google us, Boss Talk Podcast 101, and we will pop up. Guarantee you. But if you want to see all our visuals, you got to go over to our YouTube channel. There you can see all our visuals. And go ahead and hit subscribe. But let me tell you, if you want to see all of our exclusive content, you have to sign up for a membership. How you do so is under each and every video, including this one right here in the description section, there's a link that says join our membership. Go ahead and click that, follow the instructions, and thank you in advance because when y'all see us on the street, y'all be like, man, I love what y'all doing. Keep doing what y'all doing. This is how we can keep doing what we're doing. Sign up for a membership. Thank man, you. check it, man. Hey, man, listen, man. I got a guy in here today. He don't need no introduction. This is second time on the show. We talk all the time. When I, If I catch him on a live, I'm coming in. I'm Dude, coming sure. in hot. Look, Grifo is in the building, man. What San do? Diego. What up, what up, Stand what up. up. What it do, what it do. <laughs> yeah, my boy is back. Yes, Listen, sir. y'all, y'all don't understand. And I'm going to tell you something. What really threw me off, I got up there to L.A. and I, I was interviewing Lefty Gunplay. The first thing they asked me, how many of the Hispanics that you interviewed? I forgot about Lil Grifo. Mm. Damn, and we, and we had just got off the phone. Right. <laughs> that's, yeah. how, that's how I did. I was, I was, we just got off the phone because they put me on the phone when I mm. stepped in. I was like, dang, man, I know it's Brown, him, all of them be on there. Even George Lopez, everybody be over here. But it's just you think you when you ask somebody a question, somebody just don't come to you. Right. How you been, man? Chilling, blessed. blessed, blessed. You look good, man. man. I appreciate you, man. Too, man. Hey, hey man, good. I never listen. You left here, we was sad. You supposed to be going <laughs> to prison. Yep. I was like, man, he got to go do a stint, man. You know, yep. shout out to Money Moses who doing time. Uh, uh, y'all, hey, man, free Money Moses is the chant. That's our other co-host. But man, you didn't end up going. No. Nope. How? How, how, how did how did that happen? Just God, man. God, wow. God. Shout out to my uh, my baby mom too. I mean, she, her, her and her family showed up to my sentencing day. So my sentencing day, I was supposed to just go straight into jail. Like you know, I, that's turning myself in basically. But they they gave him a chance to like speak on. Uh, like how they felt about you know to say their 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 side of how they feel and shit like that. You know, like when somebody kills somebody, you you say how you feel about uh the vi- uh the, the person who killed your right loved one and stuff yeah. Like that. But right. they did it for her out of uh you know out of me you know with the with the situation right. with the brother. So they still asked them how they felt and they they said a whole speech in court and they they wanted me to get the maximum punishment which was the three years that I already signed for. Them. So when the judge asked her, they did the whole shit. She said all that shit. She started crying and she said she hopes I get the maximum punishment. And the judge asked me, you got anything to say? And I was I was already like in jail in my head for the last four months. I said, man, I just take full responsibility for what I did, you know what I'm saying? And like, you know, I understand at the end of the day, it's just like, uh, it's just about the kids. It's not about nothing else. I can go to jail for 20 years right now and I'll be all right. It's just, it's my kids that I'm really worried about. So the judge kind of just slapped me. He said something. My lawyer leaned in. He said, "You're gonna owe me some more money." I didn't. I didn't know what he was talking about. He's like, "Man, we're taking a five minute break." Man, we walk out to the hallway. He said, "They're giving you an alternative sentencing. They're putting you on probation instead of giving you the uh, three years in prison. They're just gonna put the three years over your head like a joint suspension again." You know. So yeah. Wow. And you was happy over the moon. I, I didn't believe it. You know, it didn't, it didn't kick in. It didn't kick in until like you know. Wow. Months later and stuff like that. That's a crazy yeah. wow. blessing. That's a crazy blessing right there. Yep. That you got to walk out them doors when you thought you would be locked up for three years. And it wasn't, that wouldn't have been your first time getting locked up. No, nah, I actually went to prison for my first time before that off of a joint suspension. So the same commitment they gave me this time, like if I fuck up and get a violation, then I go to prison for the three years. That's what I'm on right now. Mm-hmm. But the first time that I went to prison was the same thing, or commitment like that. They suspended my sentence, and if I got in trouble, I was gonna go to prison for three and years. you got in trouble. I got in trouble, and I went in prison for three years. So I'm on the same thing right now, but now is I've been out for three years almost. Wow. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's I think almost I, done. Yeah, I'm, I'm about to uh, put in my paperwork for early termination to get off this this uh, this paper. Hey, but how did that change your life? Because you know sometimes when you go through things and you like, okay, I know God, God is trying to tell me something. How did that change your life though? Uh, You know, it didn't really change my life. It's just going to jail is easy. Mm-hmm. You don't pay no bills. You don't pay shit. You, you live for free. They bring you food. All you got to do is pile a ticket. Like, you know what I'm saying? And just 
keep it real your stuff like that and be respectful being out here it's it's the real it's the real being out here you got bills you got to take care of stuff like that you got to feed yourself clothe yourself and stuff like that so i don't really feel like i feel like uh god just wants better for me he wants me to be like you know on some on some you know mm -hmm. but the part that people always talk about being in jail yes you, you have you know no bills and all of that right. but at the same time your kids your family is doing without you right that's the part that hurt a lot of people. You miss all the birthdays. You miss all the deaths. You can't go to the funerals. Right, I mean, right. those are the heart wrenching things that people right. have to go through. Yep, yep, yep. And I'm blessed to be able to be out here and be able to, you know, enjoy all that. Mm -hmm. I gotta ask you about, you know, uh, y'all on the West Coast, and and, and <clears throat> you know, you may or may not know this, but when mm -hmm. it is very, very, uh, uh, it's something when you get out of prison and you have to walk that tightrope, right? Right. Crip Mac was uh, one that. He got caught with some guys that had, uh, I guess they say he had a gun around some, right. not only Crip Mac, down here it's a guy named Honeycomb Brazy. He got caught also with, with with guys that had, you know, firearms illegally, I guess is what they're trying to say. Yep. Or and, and then when it becomes something to where it's illegally done, then they can lock you back up because you're around firearms. Like, how, do, how did you stay uh, out of harm's way? Think about that. Man, I mean, shit, my house just got shot up like three weeks ago. You know what I'm saying? So and, it's hard, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And the thing about it is like I've never been in a situation where I, I can't defend myself like that. You know what I'm saying? So they were shooting into my house and I was inside my house wow. while they were shooting inside my house. And I just came back from a show in Orange County, went straight to my crib. I had my little homie with me and I had a female with me. The female was already passed out drunk. By the time we got to my house, she just went into the room and just laid down. She was out. It was me and my little homie in the front in the living room. It's a one-bedroom apartment. You walk in, it's just the living room part, the same hallway that connects to the door to come in. It's, 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 it's lined up with my door to my room. So, like, if you're looking through my door, because my door has, like, window, it's, like, big windows on my door. So if you look like that, you can see directly into the into the back or you can look to see in the living room. The girl was sleeping and stuff like that. My little homie caught an Uber back home. I was chilling on my little love seat right there. I'm just hanging out. I started videotaping some Cortezes I had on my Instagram. I put I put the phone down. I said, man, I'm going to go lay down for a couple of minutes. I want to go lay down. I fell asleep. Probably 45 minutes later, they started shooting into the house. Yeah. Damn, yeah. Man. And, and so, so you, you didn't see who it was or nothing. They shot right stuff. through the couch that I was sitting on. Wow. Yeah. How do you think you and had you just moved, or he it hit forty five minutes? Forty five minutes. Yeah. Forty five minutes. I was. I was like on that couch. Yeah, right. yeah. I was sitting. I was chilling. Man, that's God again, man. Like so, what you don't know who the op was. You don't know what that was for, or you just basically just there. Could have been anything. Yeah, yeah. Could have been a wrong address. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but yeah, it could have been anything. Nobody got yeah, hit, though, right? Nobody got hit, man. The That's graces a blessing. Of God. The graces of God, nobody got hit. And I mean, how many times you think they weird. shot? Like, four, four times. Yeah. Bop, bop, bop. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I went, Brr. Nah, it wasn't no Texas it shit. Yeah, that's, how, that's, how, that's how they do it out here, huh? <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It, like is, it is crazy, man, because I mean, like, the the, the, the shell cases was right in front of my door. Really? Yeah. So they came close up? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Did you move after that? Uh, Yeah, I moved in 10 days. I got blessed, you know, for a bigger house, Uh, you know, shit, that almost damn near 25 foot ceilings and shit. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because I, wow. you know I gotta yeah, move. But, but, but you know, like I said, everything everything is just like an eye opening thing for me and stuff right. like that. And I'm not trying to play with my life. I'm not trying to like uh, taunt the devil. I'm not trying to do anything like that. Like I really ain't, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm really trying to be a good person. I'm really being a good person and stuff like that. I'm not. I'm not trying to taunt anything or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? No, so I mean, I get it. Because you know, you always hear. Because when you see stuff like that, you always hear people tell you, "Man, God is giving you so many different right. Right. opportunities. Open your eyes." I and, get tired you know. of hearing that shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because I'm not really doing nothing bad out here right. like that. So it's like it's not like I'm playing so with my life. So you're trying to see like, what is it that you want me to do, type of thing? I mean, nah. I know what I'm, I'm supposed to do. He just wants me to tighten up, but he sends me some crazy. Messages. Uh, yeah, like you know what I'm saying. I think those are the ones that that, that I need to see, right? Because uh, you know that's the only ones I understand is the mm -hmm. is the heavy ones. Mm -hmm. I don't really get it when somebody tells me Small verbally. Ways. I need those eye openers where I'm like, oh man, all right, bet you know, like I need to really change on the way I move. Or I need to really change, you know, bringing you know f random chicks to my house, mm -hmm. bringing you know what I'm saying, like you know. So yeah, man. Um, I, I, I definitely uh, I, I see San Diego got a movement, man. I interviewed Mitchie Slick. 
from yeah. up there. Yeah, shout out to uh, homie. Uh, Mitchie Slick, man. Shout out to Mitchie Slick. Like, shout out to Slick. Uh, like, like uh, you guys ever do some shows together or work together? Yeah, we got that out from Dago and shit. That shit just like surpassed like a one point something million on Spotify and on YouTube and stuff. So. Y'all did a video and everything yeah, too? Yeah, it? it's called I'm from Dago. Yep, me I'm Mitchie. from Dago, man. Yep. That's hard, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, like what? How did how did y'all even end up linking up to do that? Man, it was a long time coming. He he. Uh, back then, I reached out when I was barely trying to come up. He went from like, oh, you know, shoot me this much money for the feature. Then I told him, all right, I, I, I'm gonna try to get the money for you, whatever. Woo. I ended up going to jail. I got out, and he was like, bro, you need to stay out of jail. He's like, don't even trip on the money. Just send me a song. I said, all right. I sent him two songs. He liked the I'm from Dago, and that shit turned into like a SD like anthem for like two, three years, like two years. It was cool. It was right around. Everybody was right around to that shit, even the enemies. But you know, it was good. It was good. You know what I'm saying? They couldn't, they couldn't deny that. You know. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You telling me that. So when he sent it back, like, did you think that song was going to do good as it did? I wrote that song in jail. So I wrote it. When I wrote it, I wrote it in jail to no beat. And I specifically put on the top, I put uh, featuring Mitchy Slick. Oh, what? But when I was writing it, I was writing it to like some shit that he would, he would make. So I was thinking like, you know, sometimes when I write music, I'd be like, uh, Kendrick Lamar, just so I don't forget the cadence to how I was rapping the, mm -hmm, the, the, the song. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or I put like, if it's, a, if it's a hook, I'd be like, uh, I put do or die in the corner. If I was doing a cadence like do or die or bump, it's just so I can do remember. Do or die. They just, AK, my boy, was just on here. That's yeah. hard. You know what I'm saying, though? So I put Mitchie Slick in the corner of the song because when I wrote the record, it was like some shit that he would do and the cadence was like how he would do it. So when I got out, it ended up actually made the record and it actually ended up being a slick record. And like I said, it was a success, successful record. It was a real good successful record. Real yeah, successful yeah. record, man. That's hard. And and like like San Diego, man, me and him. I got a question go about ahead. prison though. Because Are when- you going back to prison? No, just just because <laughs> some people say when they go to jail or yeah. you know prison, they can't write. Right. They said, is there something about writer's that block. environment? Yeah, get writer's block. How different is it for you writing there than writing that when you're out? Does it, is there any difference for you? In the county jail, I was locked down 23 hours a day, so that's where I got all my like, material from writing. And then when I hit the prison, the yard, uh, I was too busy. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm doing me doing and watching right. myself and stuff like that that I didn't write in prison at all. Mm -hmm. I was just, you know, I just had my shoes on at all times type shit. But in the county jail, I, I was 23 hours locked down, so I was just venting. Able to do that. Yeah, I was just venting sick. and stuff like that through the paper, so it was easier. Got yeah, it. yeah, and, and that's that's the thing, man. When you when you look at, like, like all the stuff that um, you you had challenges being locked up, do they... Do they work you as soon as you get there? Is there a work program? Uh, in Texas, you got to hit on it. You got to go out. They got a horse. They carry you in a, 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 a buggy, take your ass on out there, and they give you one AP, one Aggie, please. And they you hit on it. And them old, and them old forearms be real, real strong. Yeah, I don't know. On it. Do they do like, any they don't, work? They don't, don't Y'all just go in the yard and start working out like like you know, colors like the, in movie. the movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so y'all don't yeah. never go nowhere. I mean, it just depends where you at, what, what level you are, uh, what level. We got land yeah. down there in Texas, so yeah. we want to till this land, is what them boys do. Yeah, now nah, over there, you just holding up, you just holding up, a, 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 you just another number in California. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You just another paycheck to them and stuff like that. So how they did, don't really care about you like that. How, how did you do with riots and stuff breaking out? Because I know y'all had riots and stuff. How did you, how did you move? How did you stay alive? Some niggas were getting stabbed and dying. How did you end up moving and being here to day to be able to talk about it. Let's get to it, man. Don't don't try to shoot. I only been in a no, riot in prison one time, man. One time. The, yeah, the time that, that, I, that I was, I was in Ironwood on the three yard and it kicked off. It just kicked off everywhere. You feel me? All around the prison. You know, like, uh, and uh, I happened to be inside the building when it kicked off, so it wasn't too crazy. It was what it is, you know what I'm saying? Typical shit, typical stuff, you know what I'm saying? Uh, What's the craziest thing you see in it when you were, were in there? In prison? Uh, man, I is just, there any misconception? Because you know how people who have never been to prison, the right. only thing we can think of is what we hear right. or what we see on TV. So, is there anything that you see you've seen on TV that you're like, man, that is such a big old lie? When it when it comes to the movies, American Me and all that, it's pretty accurate. Blood in, blood out, it's pretty accurate. You know, but it okay. it's, it's different now though. I, I I bet because you know they got tablets and all kinds of shit now in there. But like, I mean. You know, prison's prison. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, it depends on what yard you want, what level you want, and shit like that. But I don't mm -hmm. know. And, I mean, and and you did how much time when you was in there? Uh, like four years when I went to prison. Four years, and and, yeah. and you just basically, uh, you you one of them guys that 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 you made it out. 
Money Sign Sway was a guy that that uh, rest in peace. Got, rest in peace. Yeah. He didn't make it out. That's why I'm asking you about this story. You right. know what I mean? Right. There on the West Coast, he go. He only have a little bit of time before he gets out. Right, right, right. And he don't make it out. And you, you know, we skate part the past, but but the, but at the end of the day, that part right there where you couldn't have made it out, it's right. very real. Right, right. It's very real, man. And and you know, he has so much talent. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he just signed to Atlantic, I think, right? Yeah, just that. signed. Yeah. Like, like when you heard about that, was you locked up then? No, I was out. You was out. Yeah, I was out, man. Rest in peace, uh, Money Sun Suede. Um, yeah, bro. I, I like you know, man. You know, sometimes when you read stuff on the internet, you don't really want to believe it or believe it right away. You know what I'm saying? So it was one of those things where we just had to like wait it out and see if it was, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. if it was true, because you know that was a pretty, you know vicious way you know to uh to, to die you know what i'm saying so and uh you know so rest in peace when it's on sway but uh yeah and, and yeah. the reason i asked you about that is because uh we had baby youngin on here and that was his boy like right. baby youngin was on here and he had songs with him and he really right. he laid a lot of uh, uh 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 his trust in the fact of man i'm moving to cali i didn't i didn't met him you know what i'm saying right, right, right. and that made him feel like he could he was gonna further his career uh -huh. in california and it kind of was a down spiral spiral for him when, right. when he when that was a big loss for him right, right, right. you know what i mean uh, and 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 that happens when you're dealing with like uh people and groups in the streets and, and and you you know already that this stuff is basically it can be here one day and the next day it can be gone quickly right right, right. you know what i'm saying so i repeat to him man That's i just I, I thought about that man he dope little dude too yep. smooth looking little dude like like i'm like this nigga here could have went crazy and he still he had the blue check and everything right yeah because yeah. you gotta realize i came into the situation learning about it right right, right. i ain't know i'm like what the hell he and he he came to tears almost on here. He did come to tears about that guy. Yep. And I'm like, let me go research this. Come to find out, him and he lost that guy Draco. Draco, yeah. He lost him too, Draco. Mm -hmm. He let that. So he he had met him. So it's a lot of stuff. He moved from Texas out there to try to you know make his career flourish, and he run into those road bumps. Right, right, right. So like, how hard is it just keeping your career going, man, in the atmosphere like that? Oh man, on the West Coast. When you know something I mean? happens like that, man, it's tragic. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you, it's, it's, it's you don't want to hear stuff like that. You know, as being an artist and stuff, and you hear another artist, you know, dying, like to gun violence or like whatever it could have been. You don't want to hear shit like that. But I mean, it's just the eye opener. You just move different and just you know try to just not move like you know what I'm saying let it be you you know what I'm saying I don't know you try not to let it be you wow I don't know you know what I'm saying we've, so. been, we've been seeing an influx of Hispanic rappers just booming now in the right. in, in Texas for sure especially in Texas yeah. I know over there in LA you probably already been doing, been doing that but yeah, shout out to everybody out here shout out to all the raza doing it for real for real D-Baby yeah. that Mexican, Mexican OT, OT. Mm -hmm. it's I mean, Brown yeah. Money Mind that's my boy yeah, yeah, you know like yeah. I, I'm, I'm, and who it's, it's a few more it ain't just them don't right, get it right, twisted right, 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 right. do, do you see where like a lot more other people are trying to do features with more Hispanic guys because of that because you know it went where Females was running the game for right. a while, and then now it's moving into that. Do you see that change? I feel like we're definitely in the industry now. I feel like we definitely, we got our feet in there. Mm -hmm. I feel like they, they see that we got a big audience. They see that we do got supporters and stuff like that, and I feel like we just, it's a good time right now to be in the, in the in, you know, shit in the music, you know what I'm saying? It's a good time right now, you know? Listeners just going up, audience is going up, mm -hmm. everybody getting get better opportunities and stuff like that, and I mean, there's for show sure money going around, so. I'm sitting over here, and, and I'm gonna be real with you, a lot of times I'm talking to you, right, but yeah. I'm thinking about like, okay, I can ask him about this, I don't know if, you know, the politics plays such a big part right. out there, so I don't know, like, I, 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 I violate, because I don't know. You guys so I, mean, I don't be knowing if, yeah, if I don't be knowing if, if, if this guy right here, ain't, like when I mentioned Crip Mac, I'm like, okay, dude, that's a that's a brother, they don't mix too much. No, you're you know? all right, you can ask me whatever you, you know want. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, cause, yeah. I, cause I asked you about it, cause No Jumper, they be over there, and I be interviewing like AD, and he used to be over there with Crip Mac, and, him, and it's just like, when I seen him, him, you know, pretty much get arrested and had been so influential on the internet. Right. It's like, damn, like they'll take you away from this stuff, bro. Overlook over technicality. You know right. what I'm saying? I think he got 15 years. Mm -hmm. I don't know. They sentenced him to a, a pretty big sentence, right, from what right, I right. heard, man. Like, how was it when you seen his run and what he was doing? 
I mean, I see this shit. We seen this shit already happen. Like, I seen it like four or five times with different uh, people who just you know blow up overnight on the internet. I pray for the best for everybody. You know what I'm saying? The internet's dangerous. You know what I mean? It's the new streets in reality. You know what I mean? So it's weird. It's weird. It's but very it's, weird. It's real weird. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, shit. I don't know. Like, man, I don't know if it's better to just coexist. You know what I'm saying, or or, or or go viral. You know what I'm saying. You go viral. This is, I mean, it's overnight success, damn near. But I mean, you know, like I said, it's tricky, man. It's 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 real tricky. Well, so okay, but the thing is that okay, one thing I've said, and even <clears throat> um, when we interviewed um, Glasses Malone out there, yeah. he was even talking about how different the inner, I mean, the rap game, the hip hop game is right now because so many people. Once internet came into play, everybody is more trying to be a character rather than an artist. Facts. Do you yeah. see that as much with the um, Hispanic um, rappers doing that as much, or no? I mean, we got we got our share of them, you know, just okay. like everybody else. We got our share of them. We know who, who they are. We know what it is. You feel me? But it's like, man, I've been taking the long road because I can't I can't really go out like that. You know, easy mm -hmm. come, easy go. You hear one moment, you gone the next as fast as you came in. You know. So I can't, I can't, like I said, I can't be, uh, I can't play games <coughs> like that too much. Right, because you know? it's like talent is not number it's one not, no yeah, more. No, no, it's, no, it's entertainment, 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 100%. Right. Who could entertain, you know what I'm saying? And right now it's like they want to see you crash out. They want to see you crash. They want to see you, you know, on the verge of just losing all your, all your shit. So it's like, if you're not on the verge of losing everything and you know what I'm saying and shit like that, the internet ain't, ain't, uh. They ain't worried about you. They're not. They're not really entertained by you mm -hmm. and stuff like that. That's like you true. said, you know the music ain't really doing too much. But I mean, you just gotta know, figure it out. You know, fuck with your fans, fuck with the people who fuck with you, and shit like that, and just keep 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 your shit good. You know, wow. and shit. Hopefully, we stay stay long. Mm -hmm. um, um, Lefty Gunplay, you know, you and him, you know, y'all linked up, start from scratch. Like, right. uh, how was that? Uh, what what put you guys? Uh, what? How did you guys even come up linking together? Man, so we're lefty. I seen this fool at the uh, I seen this fool at the full community show uh, there in LA. We had like a show. Me, him, uh, Rowdy Rax. I don't even think I was performing that day. I was just I was just in there, and he seen me, whatever. And um, we there was like an altercation going on with some other people and shit like that. But whatever. The next day, we had another show lined up for New Year's Eve, and uh, it was me, him. Uh, a couple of other artists and stuff, Sad Boy, Yellow Hill, Doggy Style. We was in LA for New Year's Eve, and uh, the place ended up getting shot up while we was on stage. We was on stage performing, and they shot the place up, and they killed like five people got killed. Mm. If I'm not mistaken, it was four or five people got killed, killed, and then it was like six that got uh, critically injured in the front, and they sprayed the whole front up. And we were barricaded inside the venue for like uh to like five six in the morning so we spent our new year's eve we wow. brought in the new year barricaded inside the venue and then finally they let us weeks uh we were able to sneak through the back and stuff because there was helicopters on us the whole time you know what i'm saying they had the whole place around it for a while and stuff like that and then we finally made it out and me, me and lefty ended up hopping in the uber with some females and stuff like that and it was already like four or five in the morning and uh, he's like, let's go to the studio, let's go to the studio. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking like, fuck it, let's go. I'm in LA, I ain't tripping, like that's what I'm here for, I'm here to work, so let's go. We went to the studio, uh, yeah, we he, he uh, we put on some beat and shit, and um, Lefty was just wild, and that fool was like, nah, fool, this ain't the why. Then he told the homie Benji, shout out to Benji Rowe. Uh, he, he's a producer out there in LA. He told Benji, man, just put this game beat on. And Benji just put that shit on, he laid his shit down. I was already writing my shit, then I laid my shit down. We weren't really tripping on, on like uh, what type of beat it was. We were just trying to you know lay some shit down. So we did that shit like at five in the morning. And then uh, it's funny because he uploaded it, right when we did it, he uploaded that shit onto YouTube like by seven in the morning. So we, so we did it at 5 a.m. It was on YouTube by 7 a.m. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? Just the audio. Wow. The audio was starting. It went crazy. It went crazy. So uh, the following week, uh, we shot the music video and shit at the Clippers game. In a, in a, in a, in a shout out to OTR, man. Shout out to Solus and shout everybody. Shout out to OTR. Yep. Solus is my boy. Yes, sir. I just talked to him a little bit ago. He supposed to be coming. I say, yeah. nigga, when y'all coming down? You know, I call him. I'm like, when y'all come? He supposed to be coming to Texas too. Right, 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 right. He was. That was the thing when I did him out there. I was like, man, you, you got to bring Lefty down so he can come down to the ball talk at my hub site. Yep. And he was like, yeah, I'm gonna do it. So they supposed to be coming actually was it this month 
I think it was I think it was last month, but yeah. it, something happened. But we gonna get them down here. Yep, yep, so yep, I'm yep. just glad that y'all that y'all knew each other because I already knew you. I had met right. you, yeah. so it made it better. It made it made it feel more comfortable for me. Right, right. When I was interviewing him, when he showed right. me you, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm rocking yeah. with the ones. You yeah, know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. So basically, from right there, we shot the video that night. The video was out by the morning again. Really? And yeah. And the thing is, they uploaded the video in uh and the lowest uh, form you could you could upload it on YouTube like 480k. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this shit look pixelated and shit. It looks like you. I seen it. Right. You look like a PlayStation game, like with a PlayStation One. So, uh, but look at the views on it. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, it's almost yeah. at a million. It's yeah. going up. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? So it's it's man, it's blessings and stuff like that. Um, yep. Wow, I you know the the one thing I can say, man, you you stay working, man. Ever since I met you, you you're always you. working. You going live? What about the blogging? Have you been in, been in the hood anymore? Nah. Back when we did last time, you yeah. was in the hood. You gotta yeah. get back in the hood, baby. Let me see what's yep. going on out there. Yep. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we gotta fix all that go over there. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about the album, man. What did you name it again? Let me see. All blue everything. All volume blue man. everything, man. Volume two. I, volume two. Volume two. Uh, yeah. what was what was the what's the reason? That, well, hey, all blue everything in in that city. We know what time it right, is right 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 um basically man i just uh, i just had a bunch of dope records and shit like that and uh i was thinking like man what should i call this and uh the all blue earth thing volume one was such a success that i was just like man it just feels like it's like a volume two so we just we just threw it on there man so uh it was just six songs a quick ep kind of album type shit and uh you know i got lefty on there we got some shit called play ball hey i got uh y'all did a video to it yet uh we doing it yeah we should be doing it soon so oh, i yeah. did that uh not too sure we let don't. me fly up and get yeah, in there let on, the boss talk get in that Tell thing call solace up man Tell yeah solace yeah, need to throw boss talk in there man uh, yep. put this interview clip in there let me let me put this y'all can have this clip let's right, go right 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 you know what let's get, it. <laughs> yep. and get then, boss uh, talking that thing man yeah so then i got that and then i got uh what else i got on there i got uh some shit called hard time with a uh, crook one he's another uh artist out of la doing his shit and then uh i got another song called blue zone with my homie little travieso rest in peace so wow. yeah i got him back on the album and stuff like that so we doing we did that and uh shit you know what, what about saying? the one going through some shit you just dropped that yeah i just dropped that video really quick yep. yeah yeah it was that on there or no yeah it's on there okay yep. Yep. yeah yeah how yeah. was it doing that i mean you it's had cool it's going you had the girl on there yeah yeah yeah. it's going you know it's going saying? it's you going had the girl. you had it right you got the right yeah. motion it's going for the it's, ocean it's love it's love it's going it's going you know what i'm saying uh my on my own platform so it's going i love it yeah, I, I, man yeah. you don't know how much that mean to me right. when you say that because yeah. i know already you grind and you understand the grind right when i see you put it yeah. you know i'm big on that like yep. I tell every artist, man, put it on your platform, grind it out, watch right. what they do in the end. Believe in you. Yeah, going Nobody on. bet on you. Right. And watch what happens. Yep, yep, yep. You know what I'm saying? And now one of them hoes gonna go. All, yeah. all I'm saying, drop them hoes, drop everything, <laughs> visuals for every them. one of them. Right, 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 right. Content. Something gonna go. Back to back. You know what I'm saying? So yep. I just like I said, man, yo, your, your whole movement, everything that you do, man, I follow your whole grind. Appreciate you know you. what brought you to Dallas? Uh, shit, I'm out here just fucking with the homies and shit. You know what I'm saying? That's fucking old. with the homies and shit. Uh, shout out to my homie Stocks right here. You know, yeah, uh, yeah, that's my guy. Yeah, the homie player Joe out here too. You know, what you saying? know, once so, you leave, he ain't gonna call me no more. Nah, 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 man, we gonna tap crazy, in, bro. Like, like, I don't we gonna tap know, in. man. Hey, like, I'll like, be busy, I don't know, man. I'll be busy. I don't know, I don't know what you guys call me is Vega and and uh, the boy over there, uh, George. Y'all yeah. won't call me no more, man. I'm not man. good at doing street, the phone calls. That, I'm like, man, what street what? Street made ain't street made, made over here. <laughs> like, man, what's going on, man? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to blow y'all up. You be hitting me up. Yeah. But your homeboy, you need to talk to him. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, so, y'all yeah, out here just, you know, just running around. Shit like, get, like that, getting the feel for the city, uh, you know. You did a good yeah. job, man. Like yeah. I said, I love your energy. I love Appreciate anytime you. you're in Texas, you know this your home, bro. You always Appreciate can you. come through here, man. Uh throw that say shout out to him for even sending you my way when right. he did. Man, it's just a dope thing to be able to link with the uh with the with the brown skin Hispanic dude to come through with the motion that that really, really rocked this, bro. I, I be trying to get the people in here that really serious about the craft, you know, cause right, right. it disrespects you if you working and then the next guy come in, he really barely even trying to do something. So I always take pride in the people that sit in that seat, bro. Oh, I appreciate that. It means more when you sit there right, if right. I take pride in the people that I let come on here. You uh, know what I'm saying? I appreciate you guys for even having me, bro. Man, 
man. No, You're always love. welcome, yep. bro. Always welcome. Like, what can we expect in this next uh, quarter uh, or the next half of the year, man? You know, it's been an eclipse, a total eclipse, nigga, since yeah. you came. Right. The other day, we had a total. <laughs> it went dark. Did it go dark in L.A.? Yeah, uh, something like that. San Diego was all right. <laughs> Yeah. L.A., San Diego, Same did shit. it go, did it yeah. go, did it go dark? I don't even remember, I think I was playing basketball <laughs> with the homies, we were playing basketball or some shit, we seen people like looking up, and we just, we didn't know what the fuck was going on, you know what I'm saying, we ain't tripping on that shit. <laughs> Man, how big, like, 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 when you think about the L.A. gangs and then the San Diego gangs, and yeah. like, is it, how, how, how bad is it? Let's, let's be real for a minute before we get off here, like, is it really something? I mean, yeah, the shooting up is it gang related now, or is it just people in the areas? Or, or, or I mean, are the gangs coming together? Is there a truce? What's going on with this Hispanic gang? I don't know anything about that, man. All I know what I be doing with me, I just be chilling, making music, shit like that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So I don't know. You try to know. stay out the way. I'm just chilling, man. I'm chilling and I'm blessed. And I don't, and I don't blame chilling you. You know what I'm blessed. saying? The you know reason I'm saying? I ask you about it because it's so much we don't know about in Texas, bro. Right, right, right. And right. I always, I'm a, my viewers gonna know. Hey, he asked about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, no. Well, the thing is, it's like, it's like I'm gonna tell you straight up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the homie swooped me up earlier and shit like that. And it's like as soon as I get in the car, there's an AR-15 in the back seat with me. Damn. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? That's out here in Texas. Wow. You know what I'm saying? But if I go to Cali. It's like, you know, we ain't rocking with no AR in the back seat like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Unless yeah. you unless you about to go, you know, chop some shit down. But, but I feel like over here it's normal. Here, they, it's, it's crazy yeah, with it. That's what like, I'm saying. Like, like, you get it. Yeah, it's normal. It's normal out here. That's what I see and shit like that. So it's different, you know? Different like, kind of way we move, ain't it? Right. You guys got, like I was telling the homie earlier, like out here you guys just got like the guns kind of like out laying around like a pen and shit like that. Yeah, like, yeah. Like ganjas, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You walk into people's houses, they got a mini Mac right there laying around yeah. like it's a goddamn calculator. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, and then like, you know, in the car, you guys, you know, got them in the back seat, you guys got them in the trunk, shit like that. Out in Cali, it's like, if you got a gun around you, it's like, you clutching that motherfucker. You clutching it. You're not, you don't have it like, you get your, you get DP for having a gun out like this on the table like this. Really? The homie's gonna be like, who's, you know, whose shit is that? Put that shit away. Like, I'm almost on some like disrespectful shit. Like, really? if you got it on you, you supposed to not let nobody know and you supposed to just have that shit tucked. You know what I'm saying? You're not supposed to like leave a gun out and shit and reach at other people and shit like that. That's just how I was raised growing up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, like if you even throw a gun and you lose a gun and it's like, you know, you'll get your ass beat for losing the gun. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know what Different I'm saying? Different world. Yeah. So that's why over here it was different it's kind of like this is laying around they there if you need it you gonna, you gonna use it you know what I'm saying but over there where we at it's like we are, we, we kind of just clutching onto it yeah. you know what I'm saying it's weird almost like almost like if it's our phone or something we're not gonna leave our phone like, you know what I'm saying yeah. like shit we're gonna have it on us but um that's crazy. It's different. It's like I because said. Because of different. the laws, I think the that law, makes the it. The law has a lot to do with right. it. A lot of that. It, the, it really do. Everybody got a gun somewhere. I yeah. can promise you that. Right. And, and and I think it helps. Right. I'm gonna be real with you. I think it helps because you know not to run up on. See, I was at the uh, Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles, and and the lady told me she was like, um, you know, your jury and stuff. You know, you got to be careful out here because they'll run in here and rob you. And I'm like, they wouldn't do that in Texas. Yeah. You know why? Because everybody knows. Everybody. everybody in that hole got a gun. Yeah. That's what I'm telling you. Like yeah. you you run up on somebody with one, yeah. you probably running into a nigga that got one. I've been saying the same shit you know what I'm saying? since I've been here, haven't I been saying this shit? I've been yeah. saying like, hey, everybody out here is like different vibes because you know everybody got it on them. So they it's like you, it. you really wanna, you know, you really wanna die type shit. Come on. That's what I'm saying. But in Cali it's like in Cali, it's like a lot of people be like, you know, uh, 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 pump faking and shit like that. Like, not everybody got it on because we got rules over there. Like, you know, you got parole, probation, but you could get caught with it or without it. So, yeah. so you really, what do you really want to do with your life? But you know what I'm you, saying? So, do you think that, do you think it's like, do you think it should change to like Texas in LA? Open carry? <sighs> Man, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I heard about some shit like that. They were, they were trying to pass it, but like the way I look at it is, um, I feel like, uh, I don't know, man. I feel like everybody, I feel, I don't know. It's one of those things where it's like, you know what I mean? Like, it's one of those things that, like, man, we got to just see it anyway. Right, but we got to see. Yeah, so we got to see how the city reacts. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, get, let's give everybody guns and shit like that and say you're allowed to have guns. Let's see how everybody starts acting around oh, here. It's like saying we on an even playing ground. It's right, 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 like right, Everybody right, right, got right. one now. Right, 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 like right, on, right, Like on the Western no, show. Yeah, yeah. Around this Palabra, that's how it is. That's how it feels out here. <laughs> that's how it feels out here. Like, you know who's going to draw first. <laughs> hey, real shit. Nah, like, but you know, out there in Kelly, like I said, it's a lot of, it's, it's different vibes out there, dog. It's different vibes, but it's, 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 it's the, it's the West too. So man, you know what I'm saying? But people crashing out over there every day. Young motherfuckers crashing out, killing shit. So it's like, uh, you know. Wow. I got to ask you this. So, um, everybody has seen what's been going on with P Diddy, you know? Yeah. Right, 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 right. What are your views? Do you feel like he's going to get some time for all of this? Or do you think he going, you know, just pay a fine or whatever and be Billionaire. I don't know, man, man. I don't know what's going on over there. I'm watching just like everybody else. But the way I look at it is like, you know, shit, they probably trying to set an example off of Diddy. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know how they did that white fool, uh, what's his name? Jeff Ein uh, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So they, I feel like this is just like uh, the get back. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, hold on, we got to really clean up the fucking, clean everything mm -hmm. up. Uh, who knows? You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't no judge and I ain't no lawyer neither but you know i just feel like uh what's gonna happen is gonna happen look at r kelly look at bill cosby look at uh look at everybody you know they're talking about this meek mills that and it's like man i don't know you don't know what the fuck to believe you got all these youtube channels making shit up Hearing making their own theories stories. putting their own putting their own shit you got ai out now too where you could you know easily uh you know copy somebody's voice make them say what you want it's just a bunch of bullshit what's sometimes. the craziest story you heard about this whole thing since it started uh, the shit, the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? You know what I say? The whole shit sounds crazy, you know. But man, I don't know. Shit, that shit. You know. Let's talk about you. That's fifty. <laughs> <laughs> fifty be tripping over, don't he? Yeah. Do you yeah. be like, you think you you think he really just don't like Diddy, or you think that he just playing? What was the big thing? Why they even fell out, or why why he? Well, do you know this? they say it's bad. You know we in the gossip now. Well, you know they say. They say his baby mama was over there. Allegedly. That's what they say. Yeah, she's so you think that's the reason? It always goes back to y'all. A woman. Yeah. We basically do everything centered eyes around the woman. Yeah, so you think that's, that's why he's in trouble right now. Because it probably was a, a woman. woman that turned him out. Mm. Think about it. it. Everything goes back to y'all. But y'all supposed to be the head of the well, household. Well, we can't be no head if y'all run around him whispering and talking and doing all this stuff. Damn, I don't even know, huh? Yeah, stay out of it, man. It's getting yeah. rough right here in the marriage. Twenty some years of marriage, right here, right in front of y'all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I got. I'm a bag. I'm gonna get out of the Diddy situation, right? Cause Meek Mill's being slaughtered on the internet for saying that he was even in the like, like he was laying on the pool like that, and they boy, they got on him, say he was. Oh, I seen and, that. Oh, it was like damn. I'm like I seen nigga, that. I seen that. Boy, he looked like, like sus as fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The camera to me looked like he didn't want to like, be there. Yeah. yeah, and then he did the bunny hop yeah. thing. Like it's a lot going on with our culture yeah, right now, man. Yeah. It's sad, man. Shout I out to Meek Mill, man. I Let's fuck get with, it together. I fuck with Meek. I fuck <laughs> with all the. I was listening to him uh, throughout all his mixtapes, the Dream Chasers, and shit like that. But right now, I got his shit on pause. I ain't, <laughs> I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't bumping Meek right now. No, no. I still got to get figured out. We got to uh, figure out what's really going down. I yeah. gotta ask you though, like, um, you you got to be honest with me on this, man. You the type of dude that you you been through so much. Mm -hmm. Being on the run, like when you were going through your, so how stressful is it when you trying to stay out, but you know you got to go in and you know the law is looking for you. How is that? Trying to articulate how you move is it? Stress? I done seen niggas on the run. They look like they about eighty years older when they run. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the thing with the thing with with that with that man, it ain't worth going on the run unless you're looking at life. If you're looking at life or you're looking like at 20 years plus, then yeah, go do that. You know what I'm saying? But if you're looking at like five years, two years, three years, even six, seven years, man, go handle that shit, man. Go handle that shit. Knock that shit out the way because it ain't going to go away. You know what I'm saying? Because you got a lot of money with good lawyers and you got some patience and you, you, you got to go sit down in jail and, you know, go fucking fight this court and shit like that. So if you looking at time and shit like that, if it's less than five, less than seven, eight, less than 10, man, go handle that shit. If you're looking at like, you know, 15 and up and shit that, you know, Go, 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 go do what you got to do. Go breathe. Go figure out what you're going to do before you, you, you know, go get your money right. 
get a lawyer, shit like that. But man, don't go on the run, bro. But did, but you you yeah. but you went on the run. That yeah, was, but that, I was looking at twenty. About, I'm that, looking at I'm twenty t- twenty five years <laughs> when I went on the run. So you, I ain't never went on the run for, for for no bullshit. You know, when I went on the run, I was I left the I left the uh, I left the country. You know, I was caught by U.S. marshals and 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 and, and federales in in, in 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 Tijuana. You know what I'm saying? I was on the news and shit when I got Damn. caught. You know what I'm saying? Like I was my shit was my shit was real serious. My shit wasn't no fucking like five six years and shit like that like you know what I'm saying like they wanted to break me up I was looking at like 25 I think 22 years if I lost the trial and I took my shit all the way to trial you know what I'm saying I you know at trial at jury selection I got my shit dismissed because they couldn't produce the main victim you know what I'm saying yeah. so the whole time you just gotta be real with yourself and really look at what you have cause when you catch these cases it's like and you're dealing with like district attorney trying to put you away you got your lawyer on this side at the end of the at the end of the day you have to really look at this shit like a fucking poker game like we playing Texas Hold'em or some shit like that you know five card poker like what do you really got in your hand do you really got a straight you got a flush what do you really got two pairs what you got trips or you do you got quads what you got you know what I'm saying so yeah. if you if you know what kind of hand you got and you know that they ain't got they can't beat your hand then, then you could but if, if if they got you and you know you ain't got nothing but a fucking pair of tens you know what I'm saying what's the chances they gonna have a better hand than you they will probably have a better hand than you. Wow. So you got to just re- look at it like, like it's a poker game. You know what I'm saying? That's what my lawyer told me. He said, I go home every night. You don't. He said, what do you want to do? You want to go to trial? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I did go to trial. And, and I, went against, to I, get, yeah. I went against what he said. He and said, we can get you seven years right now. Just sign the seven. You already got two in custody. You'll do like four more years and shit like that. I, I denied that. I said, no, nah, I'm, I'm not doing that. I'm not going to go sit down for four or five more years. Because not even a guarantee I'll get out. When you go to prison, not a guarantee you even going to make it home. We just talked about you that. You know, and especially in the status and level that we at right now. Like, I've been to prison before I went viral, before I was popping, before I had the views, before I fucked with so-and-so and this and that. So when I went to prison, I was still a gang member, for real, for real. I wasn't a rapper, you know? If I go to prison now... It's like I'm a rapper to them. I'm a whole different. It's a whole different th- image and shit that they gonna see me as. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And uh, you don't want that in prison. You don't want to go to prison and be the center of attention. Yeah. That's the last thing you want in any kind of situation like that. You want to mm-hmm. just do your time, sit back, and just blend in. How are you gonna blend in when you when you when you when you going viral in the hood? Are you going viral up and down California uh, uh, through the United States? Well, you know what I'm saying. How yeah. are you gonna blend in in a in a in a snake pit? You're not in a, in, a, in a tank full of piranhas. How you gonna? How you gonna? You know what I'm saying? When you're yeah. looking like a goddamn f- fucking whatever kind of fucking, you know? Yeah, because everybody know you, and then that that brings envy and jealousy right. as well. Mm-hmm. So and they then, like who and you think he is? And then you talking you. hot shit. You talking that shit too on the records? Mm-hmm. Like, come on, though, this shit for real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's just it's a it's different. It's really different, and I don't want to go back to experience any of that. But if I ever do, you know, like at the end of the day, like I said, I'm I'm this before I'm a rapper. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So I'll deal with that. Yeah, well, you went through some brutal stuff even when you was going last time. You know, right, right, talking right, right. about you know just your experiences in there. Yeah. So you already been through so much, you right, know, right. stabbings and all kind of stuff. Yeah. So you know, for you to still be here is just your testimony. How important is it to tell the kids, you know, pretty much the right thing to do for you? Like, like what is? What, how do you feel about that? Do you feel like you could help change somebody's life because of the life experiences that you've had? I mean, of course. Of course, of course, you know, of course, that's what it's about. You know, trying to make people not go through the same shit we went through and shit like that. So, you know, and uh, why would we want to set up, you know, the youth for to go through some BS, you know what I'm saying? So, no, of I course, agree. whatever I've been through, I hope people understand and I hope they get it through my music and I hope they, you know, they, 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 they they look at me and they be like, oh, that's not what to do. Because I do that every day with people. Mm-hmm. You know, people around me, some shit happens. Boom, boom, boom. I try to learn from that just so I won't go through it. You know what I mean? So sometimes you just got to isolate yourself, man. And you just got to notice, you just got to notice like what's, what's what in your life and what really means something in your life. Because at the end of the day, when you laying in a hospital bed or you bleeding out and you about to go out for real, it's like nothing matters. The jewelry, the money, the cars, the the females, none of this shit matters. The last thing you be thinking about is like what really matters. And when what really matters to you when you're about to die should matter to you when you living good. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, that's that's the only way to really live like that. But I mean, you know, I what can't What really, really matters to you? Shit, man, myself, my life, you know what I'm saying, my family, uh, you know, just uh, you know, just 
right now at this point it's just my life you know i really cherish my life i cherish it you know what i'm saying and it's i feel like now that i'm cherishing it more i feel like uh i'm in more danger wow yeah i feel like when i was careless like ain't shit gonna happen to me when i'm careless mm -hmm. but now that i'm like cherishing my life and trying to like you know what i'm saying be a little bit you know like uh you know more watch Protective. how i move mm -hmm. i feel like my life more in danger like that it's weird it makes sense though it's weird though it makes sense at the same time because i believe in you know spiritual warfare so right right i think the devil gonna come at you harder when you're trying to do the right thing and that's what you're expressing you know when you're trying to do the right yeah. thing it's gonna temptation's gonna be at all time high right yeah. and i think that's what you're pretty much explaining yeah. and expressing yeah. and i could see that being a thing because people gonna come for you harder right. people gonna try to challenge you you got you rapping you on here these comments do you read them comments yes yeah, sometimes not when it's viral or when it's viral i can't keep up with like fucking a thousand comments i can't i can't do that you know what i'm saying but like the positive ones yeah i like them sometimes i, I get high and shit i'm stoned and shit i read them and i'll be laughing um but yeah i don't really fuck with the comments like that but, say you know. cheese tv uh sean cotton says that the comments is the devil mm -hmm. do you agree with that i think the comments is just people's opinions what they think in their head that they never say in real life out loud yeah but you know some what I'm saying? Say, but and some, some people, people have some stupid you. ass. Some people have some stupid ass thoughts in their yeah. head, where you almost you just like, how you gonna read that? You putting yourself in a level of fucking retarded people. You know what I'm saying? The people who put dumb shit on the internet, you would never say that in real life. You know, and if you were to say that out loud, we would look at you like you a fucking, you a idiot, you a J cat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So the so the internet ain't really. The, I mean, the comments ain't really like that. You know what I'm saying? But it's crazy because these record labels. And these big these big labels they really sit there and look at you, the comments so they really judge you like they'll go down to your videos and they'll really like see how many comments you have that are negative how many are positive mm. they really go and look at it to see like where you at and stuff like that like your with your fan base or if you just viral or you really have true solid uh you know fans and shit like that so you be responding to them yeah i've been lately i have lately i started following people back and stuff like that i started like you know uh 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 uh, uh you know replying back to fans when they drop comments on the youtube and and on the uh internet and stuff like that when there are negative know. comments do you respond when they when they're funny ones when they're <laughs> funny negative ones yeah you know when they just off off like off bullshit like I don't mm -hmm. say shit but like I've been replying back though I've been replying back to the fans and I feel like it's making me connect more to them and stuff like that so that's something I've never done mm -hmm. I've never really like replied back I was like the type that like oh like you know I post something I get like we you know how many, many comments and then I wouldn't even like the damn comment you know mm -hmm. I don't know why I just always felt like you know and people were like what the fuck you never you never you know what I'm saying I talked to somebody one time uh, she's the homegirl and shit she cool man she should be a PR but she was like man start liking back some of these comments and shit like you know what I'm saying start replying back interact with these people and shit make and them, you, you see know? where it helps yeah palabra yeah that shit go crazy it made me it made me like you know it made them you don't fuck with me more and shit the like that so yep yep a little grief oh man you, you gotta understand man like you come from a long line of people man from Kid Frost to Cypress Hill right. to Lighter Shade of Brown mm -hmm. like who did who did who did you look up to like like when you was first like when you look back at the OGs and the homies like who who inspired you to say man like I I like the way they move uh man I was saying this yesterday I was like I said Lucky Luciano from Houston and shit like that I said uh Omar Cruz he's, he's from California back when they had like the Pimp My Ride show with exhibit Omar Cruz was like the first Mexican and shit like to be on that show and you know he was doing his thing with Frankie J at the time they had like a record you know just any any Hispanic you know Raza like you know Bash and shit like that but like you know like I said I grew up listening to like you know the same shit Pac, Quick, Sugar Free you know what I'm saying uh, Bone Thugs, Do or Die shit like that so Twister uh, all that shit so it's like they influenced me you know musically but the people who i felt like i could really do this was like you know the luckies the the you know the omar cruises the uh you know the little robs uh you know what i'm saying just uh you know the shadows all that so how yeah. big was it, how big was it when you think back to the nwa movement like i know you're a little younger but right. how big was that like like for for the when it come down to they you know paved the way for for gangster you know what i mean rap right. and stuff like like when you look at those guys, Easy, they just named the street after him out there and all kind of stuff. Right. You know, like like how how do you look at that group? I mean, uh, that was like before my time and shit like that. But I mean, of course, if you went to hip hop and you went to rap, you got to pay your respects and your homage. You know what I'm saying to 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 NWA straight up. Yeah. So 
I mean, I felt like it was a big thing for uh, hip hop, you know, and it was a big, a big thing. Look, they made it cool to be gangster. You know what I'm saying? They made it cool to be a thug to say fuck the police and shit. So I mean, you know, you just gotta give your homage, you know, pay your dues and stuff like that to these people and uh, man, you know, shit. Did you ever? I mean, Power Out comes out and connect with the West Coast a lot. Did you ever think think did you you think you ever look up look into rapping with or doing something with Power Wall? I, I fuck with Power Wall. I, I like his I like his music from back in the day. You know what I'm saying, Power Wall. Uh, who else out here? Um, Slim Thug, uh, Mike Jones. Trade the truth. Trade the truth. Trade the truth. Yeah, Slim, Trade the truth. Mitchy, Mitchy's supposed to be, you know, throwing Licking that. you up with yeah, him. Yeah, that alley oop. You want to rock Houston. with that boy, Trade yeah, the truth. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, Y'all uh, can get out. I'm going to be in Houston next month. I'm going to be there for Cinco de Mayo. Okay. I'm going to be, what's that shit called? The, 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 where, Cap the Cap Summit, man. Shout out to Athena. You know what I'm saying? So they they putting that together out there uh, in Houston. So I'm going to be out there on the 5th for Cinco de Mayo. Wow. Yeah. How come you ain't you ain't been on community with my boy AD yet? Have you? Nah, man, I'm waiting for that. <coughs> I gotta link y'all up. That's Put my guy. Together. He come Put over here together, a lot. Yeah. Lefty went on there. You right, seen that? Right, right, right. Put that's my that's family. Told me the alley oop, palabra. Told me the alley oop. Yeah, AD. I got you, man. Yeah, I got he, you. He I was, he, you know, when I interviewed Lefty, he, came he was San there Diego. with me. AD came to San Diego. He yeah, I seen that. Yeah, I yeah. seen that. We gotta we gotta figure that out. I called him after that. Yeah. Like, man, what's going on out there, baby? Yeah, that's. And that was after we had did the interview too. He was getting white boy wait. Out there, yeah, some yeah, shit. you know what I'm saying. You Shout out to my boy AD. I love Diego, AD, man. Diego will do that to you. It'll do it to you. They can make you, you know. It's going down, man. Shout out to Face yeah. on Love too. He from San Diego. That's my boy. Yeah. You know, it's a lot of y'all got a lot of lot of good dudes over in San Diego, man. I love it, bro. Okay, and yeah. it's beautiful there. Yeah. Take my wife over there. It's nice. I man. love the beaches. Yeah, I think it was it Coron Coronado Beach or something. Coronado. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I love where we was Coronado at. Beach. One of the cleanest that we got. I think. That yeah. is right. So that's the only right one I need to, to go to. Right next to the TJ Beach, though. So it's like, man, it's weird. It's dirty as hell on the on the on the on the TJ Beach side and shit. Imperial Beach too. That's like where uh, that's like where Maja is at on this side of the border. So Imperial Beach is just connected right to the to the Mexican border wall mm. like that. So yeah. it's, it's it's a lot of pollution and shit going on right there. But as soon as you hit like Coronado for some reason, it just cleans up. Yeah, I was shocked up. when I went over there. I was like, man, this is where I should have been from the get go. I yeah. love it. Yeah, it cleans up definitely. Yeah, I, I, like I said, I, I really I look at the movement, man, and just what 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 the West Coast bring, man. With the South, always we always connected with the West Coast. Mm -hmm. I mean. East Coast, it was kind of, you know, they real prideful, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? But the West Coast seemed like we groove with them, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So when I look at the South and you see where P goes up there to Richmond and all that, you right. know, he's a from Richmond, California, all the way back to New Orleans. See, you don't know about that, y'all. You know that? yeah. <laughs> That's high, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It, it's just the West yeah. Coast connection. And then Too Short would come down here a lot, you right. know, from Oakland. And, and you got to, and E-40, E-40 got relatives here in Dallas. Like, right, right. you got to realize, man, these people, these people, you know, they love to connecting us together. And they yep. will always come down and show love to us in the South, bro. And then a lot of they relatives, Mississippi and all that. So it was always a link there you know right, what I'm right, saying right. man yeah. so I've always and, and I take that to heart that's yeah, why I'm gonna definitely be out here more man so you got to we love y'all bro yeah. we love y'all that's why I always Appreciate link that. with you and I always gonna jump on that live with you Let's get, it. get down with you a little bit you yes, know what sir. I'm saying man I wanna thank you for coming on the show man how can people get a hold of you shit just little grifo on all streaming platforms little grifo yep. in the building man yes, it's, man just, just make sure y'all go follow this guy man make sure y'all like and subscribe to our channel but this dude right here go follow his channel we gonna push that thing up too cause he be on there man he it's dropping love. music on there and the music be going crazy yes, and he got them girls in the video you know how y'all like them girls yeah. man you know what I'm saying <laughs> thank you so much man we love you bro we Appreciate love you, bro. You, bro. you, you family here now. Appreciate so you. This, like I said, every time is gonna get better and better. Let's so get it. whenever you in Texas, man, call me up. Yep. Let's let the people know what you're doing on the movement, man. We want to be a part of it, right? Mm -hmm. yep. Check it, man. Make sure you guys like these comments, man. Make sure y'all go to the this uh, this next this next clip. It about to be dope. Le Grifo came through here, shut it down, gave us all kind of jewels, man. Yeah, all it's blew everything out, too, right now, volume two. Man, you yep. see the drop. The boy getting good at it. You know, all blew everything out <laughs> yep. there. Shout yeah. Out, yeah, shout out to Mob G. That's, good. That's hard, yep. man. Check it, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, where the boss is talk. And we out.